This is the HTC Touch, the newest HTC device and the first one to feature Touch 4 technology. You are watching its video review produced by PhoneArena.com. Touch 4 is HTC's answer to iPhone, which still no one else than the company CEO has used, but whose interface is discussed everywhere. At the announcement of the iPhone, Steve Jobs showed that we will be controlled by different movements which will respectively do actions like unlocking the display, zooming in or out, scrolling, etc. This way replacing the touch of a button with a specific movement over the display. The touch fold tries to do the same, but doesn't look that good. Scroll your finger from bottom to top in order to open new shortcut launcher. Touch from left to right or vice versa to change the page. You have access to three pages. The one houses shortcuts to nine numbers and phone functionality, the other to multimedia and the third one to phone organizer options like internet, messaging and calendar. Scroll your finger down to close this menu. Overall, that's almost all about the media for technology. It is used just to open and close a dedicated menu and to switch to its pages. The only other new thing is the way you can now scroll a list like the contacts for example or in other places like the internet browser or document preview. Here we have opened a simple PDF document and zoomed to 200% so we have to scroll a lot. Move your finger and it will start scrolling on its own. Tap on the screen to stop it. Depending on the speed of the movement it will scroll with different speeds. This is very similar to, to the scrolling Steve Jobs showed on the iPhone. In order to have more contemporary look Touch comes with personalized home screen that is rather targeted to personal use instead of work management as other Windows Mobile 6 professional phones. Yes, the Touch uses the standard Windows OS and that's why we won't discuss all of its features in the video because they are absolutely identical to other phones. We will only show you the unique things about the phone. So the home screen has three tabs, housing a clock, weather applet, which uses the internet to get the weather forecast and a tap with shortcuts. On the top is a link to Tasks Manager which helps you close the loaded applications. On its back the touch has 2 megapixel camera with mirror but without flash. Its interface is slightly optimized in order to be used with fingers. We are disappointed that it is very slow. It takes 4 seconds to start and the time between 2 images is about 10 seconds overall. It would be worth it if the produced images were great, but the ones from it are with just with mediocre quality, unrealistic hours due to the automatic white balance, blurry areas and not sharp detail. Indoors it is usable in strong light, but when it's dark you don't have a flash to help you. As a personalization you can also consider the new music player added by HTC. The audio manager can sort your music by artist, album, genre, composer, or in playlists and now playing interface offers you big buttons optimized for finger operation instead of a stylus. We are disappointed by the sound quality from both the loudspeaker and the headphones in the box. The rest of the software of the phone is the same as any other Windows Mobile 6 professional phone, but the touch is different by its design. It is the smallest pocket PC on the market. It is slim, has rounded curves and looks good in either the green version we have here or the one which has this green replaced with black. While the touch is not a real revolution, the design is. It doesn't look like any other HTC phone, in, in our opinion, is the best looking pocket PC device by any manufacturer. And as one, it offers excellent phone book, organizer and email client. The signal reception is little below the average, but the battery offered 6 hours of continuous talk time and the sound quality during a call is very good. If you're looking for a device that is controlled in a unique way, consider the iPhone which will be available on June 29th from AT&T. But if you want the advanced functionality of a Windows mobile phone and still want a really good booking device, the HTC Touch is the perfect choice. As a smartphone, its drawbacks are the tri-band only GSM receiver, which is optimized for usage in Europe and Asia, but HTC claims that the North American bound version will be available in the second half of the year. We will keep our fingers crossed that this new version will offer an upgraded version of the Touch for technology also. So it will be a real arrival of the iPhone or at least in the interface game.